Hello and welcome back to Factorio. So, last time we were getting ourselves up and it would be nice if I could move the map independently of my character, but um, we were getting over here and getting this oil. However, there are some bad guys around the oil, so we're going to have to work our way up there. We've cleared out this area. The problem with this oil is that pretty much there is no protection up there, apart from, like, there's no protection for uh, this oil place. Um, like, we can't have it as part of the main group. It's probably too far for us to actually reasonably uh, defend ourselves. So, we are going to have to have gun turrets up there non-stop. Which is alright, but it's not ideal. Oh, yeah, actually the oil's inside the trees, which also isn't ideal. Let's get rid of some of the trees and just kind of make ourselves a little oil clearing. Now, this is probably... I think I'm going to make this the last week of uh, Factorio. Uh, just because we're going to be starting something new uh, on the week after. Um, which we do have a vote for going on right now. It should have gone up yesterday. And basically, um, yeah, I want to try and get some stuff done. One, I want to get our plastics done. And then I kind of want to make it look a little bit nicer. Like, I want to make it so that we're a little bit more efficient. Right now, everything's a bit hodgepodge. And, um, yeah, as somebody po uh, described it, it's, we have the spaghetti organization style, which is none. Like, there, there's no sense to our manufacturing. It's kind of just done however it's done. So what I want to do is I want to kind of change it a little bit. I want to change it into something a little bit more, like, structured. I want it to make it make it look like it's meant to be there. And that's kind of one of the reasons I want to end the Factorio se uh, series is I feel like with the progress I've made, like, in as in for the progress made through the game here, I could probably get back to this spot very, very quickly. Like, it doesn't feel like there's an awful lot that, like, it feels like I could recreate what I've got, but better, if I was to just restart. Which, at that point, is like, yeah, th th it, there's a lot more that, like, it would need a little bit more planning. But I think, I think we, we could probably um, restart this and be roughly as well off. So, uh, that that's one of the reasons I kind of want to end the series, because I want to, if I was to come back, I want to do it properly. I want to come back and have a plan going in. Rather than just kind of going in kind of madly. Anyway. Um, so there's our first style. How many spots do we have? I kind of hope that would view uh, zoom in the map. We have one, two, three, four spots of oil. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to place down a gun turret on the first one. And put in some ammo. Uh, yep, there we go. I'm going to stick a gun turret on the second one. And stick in some ammo. Right, now we can kind of clear out a little bit more. There should be another couple spots around here. Is that oil? I think that might be oil. Yeah. May also need to keep, might keep one or two gun turrets because we are going to have to do something with the oil. Maybe um, want to put it on the sem uh, on the transport belt that I put along. Uh, possibly. Yeah, because I'm going to have to send, I'm going to have to send this somewhere somehow. That might work. Uh, there, there's another bit of, these are the next two bits of oil. I'm going to stick a gun turret in there, and then fill that up. So that should protect the oil itself. Um, what do we need to produce the oil? We actually need oil refineries, which means stone bricks, which we did have a production of. Uh, let me get rid of some of this. Do we have any? We didn't bring any transport belts. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we need stone bricks and transport belts. I think we had a stone brick production thing going on. I think this is gonna also going to be how I'm going to get the oil out of here. Um, I haven't decided. I think I might go for a pipeline back to the main center over here. Like, um, over on uh, that part of the map. I think that's probably the best plan. And then try and make, like, something here. Because I've already cleared it out of uh, bad guys. And I think if we could, like, get that going, we can potentially use these storage tanks for something. Anyway, back over to where I am. Um, there we go. Right. Uh, also trying to make it large enough so I can get a car up and down here. There we go. Clear up some of that. Clear up some of that. Clear up some of that. Nice. Okay. Um, wood? Can we, can we use wood for a car? Apparently so. That works. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with... Oh, I'm driving backwards think that we're going to make a 
corner here. If I make a corner here, what's this? This iron ore. Oh, that's useful. Um, oh, stop the car. Uh, get out. Right. So if I kind of make a corner here to turn through, that'll probably work. Uh, I'm going to want to put gun turrets along this line. I think we're going to do pipe. Yeah, I think pipes for to get this down is going to be the best way to do it. There we are. Um, maybe even want something like a radar up here as well. That could work. There we go. Get rid of those. Right, so that's our way down. I'm going to grab these gun turrets. They should still have ammo in them. Yeah. Perfect. Don't add... Well, we probably need one, one kind of here. Uh, we're going to drag it down the side. We can kind of use them for multiple things. Let's take like one there. One there. That'll probably work. That covers a large enough area. Uh, one up here will probably do. One up here will probably do. We don't need to cover the whole pipeline. We just need to cover like bits of it. There we go. We've got four more to go. Um, I feel like we almost need like an advanced one here. Like one that's just up to the right here. Just because I feel like that's where they're going to like come from if they come from anywhere. Yep. Okay. Clear some of that out. Yep, clear some more of that out. There we go. We're just gonna, well, kind of want it to have a straight sight line at anything, which is why I'm just clearing out this bit here. Should be able to get it. Like uh, they seem to take the path of least resistance. So if I just create a, a clean sight line, that should allow uh, our gun to shoot at like a reasonable range. Okay. And then I'll put some ammo in there. It might take them a while to get over here if they even come over here. That's an idea. Um, probably want to stick another down in this corner and do likewise. There we go. Put, uh, put some more ammo in it. Maybe clear out just a little bit more wood here. Just trying to um, target where I think they're likely to come from. Yeah, it's We're also going to likely spawn some more of them. Apparently they spawn based on pollution, which is kind of what I guessed. Um, so I think that... Uh, by doing more oil stuff, we're probably going to get more of these guys spawning. But we'll see. Anyway, uh, so that'll be there. And then probably the last spot has to be around here then. Oh, we've still got another, we've still got another turret actually after this. Okay. Clear out some of that. Right. Go have some more ammo. Uh, maybe we'll do the last spot like out here. Just as a, you know, preemptive attack kind of thing. Like, if we see anything, that's where it's going to happen. Okay. That seems fine. It's relatively well protected. It's much better protected than the rest. My worry is kind of up here. Where we've got just tons of guys. Like, yeah, that's gonna, that, that would be real bad if they were to start migrating down. Uh, like, the south is real good for us. Like, there's nothing. North, they're starting to, uh, they're starting to, to swarm. There's actually some within... Wait... Uh, can we see them? Yeah, there's some within, like, vision range. And apparently these guys mutate as well, so... It's not ideal. But they're... They're within the same screen, which is a little bit worrying. Should be fine, but we'll see. Might not be. Uh, right, back out here. Okay, so, now I've got them. We need the refineries, and we also need... Uh, transport belts. Yeah, we can do that. Oh. Also make sure we actually put ammo in the guns, otherwise they're going to be fairly useless. Um, yeah, I'll just pick up that car. There we go. And put in some more ammo. Some more ammo. Actually, I'm going to take about half of that back. There we go. Some more ammo. And you can have the rest of the ammo. Not that I'm expecting that one to actually be used. Okay, good. Uh, everything seems to still be working. Let's get back in the car, which should be up here somewhere. Oh, I put the car in my inventory. That wasn't very bright of me. 
There we are. Um, put in the wood. Get in the car. Turn it round so we're facing forwards. And we can head down here and see what we can grab. Alright. This place is still working, isn't it? Yeah, it's slightly beaten up, but still working. That's what I'm after. As long as it's still working, that's fine. Yeah, this isn't working anymore. That's all dead. That's fine. The rest of it seems alright. Yeah. I couldn't... Ooh, almost destroyed some more of it myself there. I couldn't remember whether all of this was still kind of going. I'll head down here and see. Looks like it is. Oh yeah, we were also... Doing some... Ah uh, yes, we're starting our steel furnace stuff down here and then we got attacked. Yeah. We'll leave that just for just now. Right. Uh, around the back here, we should be able to get into our stone. Right. Uh, stone's up here, isn't it? Oh, they ran out of uh, fuel. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, how much did you get? Oh, yeah, like a couple thousand stone bricks. Uh, why don't you have some wood? And you can also have some wood. There we are. So we have the stone bricks that we need. Now we just need the electronic circuits. Right. Um... Should be around here somewhere. Yeah. They are around here somewhere. Right. Grab, well, a ton of that. Because we've got a lot backed up. Yeah, our electronic circuit production is now pretty much ideal. Um, so we need four. One, two, three. Well, that's it. Four. Right. Uh, oh, and we also need a ton of pipes as well. Uh, do we... Did we ever do pipe production? I think we did it for our engines, didn't we? Uh, gears. I thought the engines used pipes. Oh yeah, they do use pipes. There we go. So, oh yeah, there isn't an awful lot of pipe production, is there? No. Okay, um... Yeah, we could just tell it to make, like, a lot of pipes. Although we should just grab them as well, because we have way too much engine production. Oh. Yeah, actually, we have enough pipe production that it was backed up, so that's fine. There we go. That should probably do it on pipes. Or at least for just now. Uh, back in the car. Uh, oh, and another thing that we should be building is... Um, we should be building more electricity. There we go. Get like a ton of those afterwards as well. We're the wrong way around again. That's fine. Little turn. Face the right. Yup. This car is perhaps the least well designed car I've ever seen. In terms of drivability. Right. Uh, down here. Are we being attacked? Up the... They just spawned in. Oh. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, okay. Well, um... Hmm. If I could figure a way out of here, I'd go up there and see what's going on. Oh my god. I know I said I wanted to get... Start over, but I didn't mean, like, right now. Get, 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 get off. Get off my stuff. Yeah. Get off. Yep. Well, that was just lovely. Just lovely. Fantastic. Uh, right. There are a few got along here. Yeah. Okay. Can't say I'm as much of a fan of that part of the uh, game where they spawn into areas where you have uh, specifically cleared of enemies. Uh, that's uh, real appreciated. Next to... Wait, is that my old... Wait, do I have two cars? Wait. Did I not drive my car up here? Oh, maybe I got out as it was still moving. Oh. Okay. Um, how do you make those repair robots? You need flying things. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not really going to work. Okay. I do want to clear out as much of this as possible. 
So we're about to run out of ammo. That's not ideal. Do want to kill these spawners. There we go. If we can get in at the spawner, I'd appreciate it. There we go. Now, now we should be able to kill these spawners fairly easy. Easily. Uh, even if we do run out of ammo. That's fine. We're on our pistol ammo now. Okay. We're low, low on health. I need to just play it a little bit safe. Wow, that's a lot of shots. I need to kill that one, huh? Yup. Okay. Not ideal. Not ideal. Where did these ones come from? Right. Can't make any more ammo. Because I don't have any more ammo. Well, that wasn't ideal. Yeah, that wasn't ideal at all. Uh, how do I fix this? Not very easily. What's being attacked now? Well, my car is being attacked, is it? All right. Well, we'll see if I can rescue that. That would be great. Uh, yeah, I should be able to rescue it. I just get in and go. Yep. Slightly rescued. Hey guys, come over here. Yeah, just follow me. I'm not going into danger or anything. Just uh, round them up like a sheepdog. And head down this way. Through here. Hey guys, over here. Gun turret. Can you hit the gun turret? Nope, they're all off to the radar. Top priority was get rid of the radar, huh? Okay. Well, we got rid of some of them. And we got the car back. Hmm. Well, that's not ideal at all. Hmm. Alright. Just think about what to do here. Um. Hmm. Yep. Run into that rock that I didn't really see. Uh, how do I deal with this? Probably need the gun turret down here. Which means that I'll need... Uh, where is that in terms of stuff? Gonna here? Yeah. I think, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna end this series here. Thank you for watching. The reason I'm gonna do that is I was just thinking about how much effort it's gonna be put into re uh, reproducing this. It's probably going to last us uh, a fair amount of the week. So I think that it's better just to end the series here. And then we'll start something new in November. Thank you for watching and I will see you then. Goodbye.